Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been a bit MIA for like the recent weeks. I haven't really been recording. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get back into YouTube now I've got a bit more spare time. Let me know what else you wanna see from me. But obviously, let's get into this video, which is about the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker collection, which is the summer collection for this year. And I wanna show you what I got because this is probably his biggest actual release. So obviously, first of all, we've got the Jawbreaker palette. Now, this is absolutely huge. So this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Like, it's so pastel and bright and vibrant. I really love it. And it's got like the most colours in the palette that he's ever done before. So I was really excited to get it. And me being me loves bright colours, obviously. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see all my bright makeup looks and stuff like that. So I was really excited to get this. Um, I'm not actually going to swatch the palettes on this video I'm gonna do the lipstick and also the highlighting palette because I would literally be here for ages so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another video doing a makeup look based off this palette so like using the colors so if you guys are interested stay tuned and I will have one of them coming let me know what sort of makeup look you'd like to see if you have any requests if you want any particular like colors swatching then I might do a Instagram video of the swatches or picture of the swatches if you really want to see that but I bet you've seen like loads by now because loads of people are hyping over this palette so I thought there's not much point in me going over it as better just to do like a look that's a bit more unique so I'll just do a, like a little up close of the palette so you guys can see it And then obviously we have the mini breaker. Now, when he actually announced there's gonna be two palettes and there's gonna be like a mini one, so this one, I didn't know if he'd have all the colors from the main one in the little one, just in case like people wanted a taster. But he's put two, I think it's these two if I remember rightly, the purple one and the pink one called Bubblegum and Bite Me. They were the two original shades from the actual Jawbreaker palette and the rest are quite unique. And people were saying like, they don't know what sort of look they could do with this. But actually, if you actually look at it in person, it's got quite a good like transition transition shade, main shade, and then like like shimmery shade if you like. These four here are all shimmery shades and the rest are matte. So you have actually got a bit to work with. Yeah, the colours aren't that different, like they're mainly pinky, like warm theme, but it is actually really nice. You can do some looks with that. So yeah, and I really obviously love the packaging. I've done an eye look based on this. This is gorgeous. So yeah, that are the palettes. If you'd like to see any of these swatched as well, that I know they're quite unique shades, um, let me know. Okay, so next we have the Brain Freeze Skin Frost palette. Now I love Jeffree Skin Frost palette. I have the other two. So this one has got a great array of colours for all different skin tones i have done a few little swatches but look how pretty this one is this literally reminds me of the jawbreaker one like the actual jawbreaker with the different colors in i will swatch these for you guys so i went going in with cold shoulder and i'm just going to swatch that on my arm oh that's pretty so these formulas feel a bit different to how i'm used to because i i don't know this cold shoulder feels a little bit different anyway like harder almost like um like his summer collection, the summer snow cone, that sort of highlight. They feel a bit harder, but anyway, let's carry on. Now I'm going to go in with Gold Breaker. This is so pretty. Oh, okay, that one's a bit more pigmented. That's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Cocky, which I think is a little bit too dark for my skin tone. Like a, yeah, it's way too dark. I can't use that one. I'll have to use that as an eyeshadow. But this is Cocky. Gorgeous colour, it's like a peach. Now I'm going to go in with status Q, I think that's how you say it. Status Q, was, I don't know if that says status quo. I've never actually seen that written down. Oh, that feels really nice and soft. That's stunning. Now I'm going to go with Frozen Free, which seems to be everybody's favourite at the moment. That's gorgeous. And now I'm going to go in with freeze tag, which I think is going to be my favourite. That still feels harder. I'm, I'm confused why the formula is different, but okay. That's more pigmented than the first one though. Okay, so overall they're quite nice shades. I love these sort of palettes because it gets me like to try different highlighter colours. Like that's how I discovered the sarcophagus and then he made a big pan of it. So so I got another highlighter and this is a Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet. The other two were way too dark for me and obviously the green one isn't really going to go very nicely on my sort of skin tone. It's more for deeper skin tones I'd say. So yeah, I just wanted to swatch this because this is my new favourite highlighter. I've actually been wearing it ever since I've got it. Look how blinding it is. It's like liquid with metal so pretty okay so this time i only got one of the lip scrubs because i don't like cucumber and the lemon i'm not keen on lemon either so i got pineapple juice 
So this is what it looks like in bright green packaging. So I was a bit unsure why he did green packaging instead of like jawbreaker packaging. I actually thought he would do something like white with like specks on considering it's like a jawbreaker theme. And this is kind of like, reminds me of sour sweets, this sort of color. It's still cute, like it's, it's really pretty. It's like neon and bright and it does go with the lipsticks. So you'll see in a second. That reminds me of holiday, it smells so good. So it looks just like this. It's like a plain sort of color and it tastes amazing. I'm not gonna put it on my lips because I've got lip gloss on. It's not like a sharp taste. It's rather like quite sweet. And you can, <laughs> you can see I've been out already. Okay, I'm gonna do the lip ammos then the liquid lipstick so you can see the swatches. I'm not sure why other YouTubers haven't really been swatching the ammos or if it just didn't come in PR or what but yeah so I'm gonna do some swatches of the actual lip ammos for you as well as the liquid lipsticks after now with the ammos I didn't used to be a fan of them until I saw what was it champagne tears which is the original glitter formula one but it's more grainy than these and the Christmas ones that he came out with I've been a big fan of these these are really nice lip toppers or you can just wear it on your its own for like a shiny little gloss moment I guess yeah so let's get into the swatches of these So uh, this one is snow cone, like a green sort of sheer colour. This one is called Candy Freeze. This one is called Jawbreaker. This is so stunning, I love the blue sort of shade that he comes out with. This one is called Yummy like a lavender sort of hue to it. This one I think is going to be my favourite, it's called Glazed. It's probably like the most wearable one out of them all. And this one is called Brown Sugar. It's like a coppery sort of colour. So these are all the shades that you get. So these are the shades of the actual lip ammos. And now I'm going to move on to the actual liquid lipsticks. I don't know how many people have like swatched the liquid lipsticks. Last time I did a lip swatch video on his latest collection. I'm not going to do that this time unless you guys, it's something you want to see and I'll do a separate video. I'm just literally going to swatch them on my arm because it killed my lips last time. Right, I've already tested the nude one and it's literally my favourite out of the whole collection. So let's swatch these quickly before my camera dies. So this one is called Yes Ma'am. This one is my favourite and it's called Fully Nude. So stunning. This one is called Strawberry Crush. This one is called No Offence. This one is called Purple Urkel. And this one is called Bronze Blood. So these are the six shades that are really stunning. That Yes Mom and Strawberry Crush, Jesus. They, those first three are literally I'm gonna live in this summer. So that's everything I got from this collection, guys. My camera is literally gonna die, so I'm gonna have to wrap the video up there. If you wanna see anything else on this collection, like swatches or looks or anything like that, like lip swatches, then let me know down below and I'll be happy to do it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got from this summer collection. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.